Open your eyes. Oh, no, this is uh, this... Where did it come from? Your ancestors called it magic, and you call it science. Well, I come from a place where they're one and the same. Welcome back to another showcase and review here with the future and today I'm going to focus on a figure from the upcoming Thor the Mighty Avenger movie um, that is launching here in July 2011 and I mentioned it on my last um, showcase and review if you haven't checked it out because I posted two in a day which I usually don't do I usually wait a while for one to circulate before I post another so everybody can see it so I want to let everybody know that that um, showcase and review is up of X-Men Origins Wolverine Deadpool movie figure and I mentioned that I had another movie series figure that I wanted to um, review and that was this one from the uh, 2011 Thor The Mighty Avenger movie as I have just mentioned and the figure I picked up from this line I picked it up actually a month and a half or two months ago and I haven't got around to um, reviewing it I wanted to wait um, closer to the launch of the movie because they actually came out with these figures um, quite a bit before the uh, launch of the movie so it is none other than Sword Spike Thor that I picked up and I picked up Sword Spike Thor because he is the less gimmicky of the three and three quarter inch scale line that they made for the movie and he is the closest to the representation of them in the movie of Thor as you can see his outfit there very similar to Sword Spike Thor um, a nice shot from the side. I'm going to give you a good um, close shot here. Very good detail and articulation and they have really done well lately at being able to capture an actor's likeness which is Chris Hemsworth who plays Thor. Um, Chris Hemsworth also was in Star Trek 2009 I believe as um, Kirk's father. Um, so check that out if you haven't seen him in that. Um, there's the uh, hammer that Thor um, holds and uses to fly and um, other things, as you can you will see in the upcoming movie. It is none other than called by the name Mjolnir. Um, Jack Kirby and Stan Lee actually created Thor, um, and that is why Marvel Studios is producing the movie Thor: The Mighty Avenger and uh, the God of Thunder is what I always. Uh, you know, Mighty God of Thunder is what I always remember calling him back in the comic books and everything like that. He's a lot different um, representation than the one from the comic book, and I wish I had a Thor um, figure from the Marvel Universe line that I could compare, but I haven't um, come across one yet and been able to get a hold of that, so that'll have to wait for a comparison. But you can see Chris Hemsworth up here, a picture from the movie. Um, like a star-like background, because you know he does come from another um, universe or planet or whatever. You can see up here to the right the Avengers Assemble stamp, and um, when the Captain America um, figure comes out, he will be another addition to the Avengers. You have the um, Iron Man figure, your um, Thor figure here, and then Captain America, so you can assemble the Avengers. Um, there is actually another Avenger too, which you can obtain, um, but I do not know the name off the top of my head. You can see he has this gimmicky hidden sword spike, which is really unnecessary and really outrageously large in my opinion. It opens up and then another, another sword pops out. If you want to see this figure out of the package, because I am an on-card collector, just uh, search it. And there's a lot of people who have opened this guy up and uh, give a good review of, the, ha of uh, the Thor figure here, the Sword Spike Thor, just type it in 
and you will see down here the warnings to the bottom you see they got sword spike Thor there hidden sword spike here Thor the mighty Avenger across the top of the bubble um, and here's a real close-up look and you can see very good detail um, very good paint application the articulation is great on this figure as well um, I have also heard in a few videos that that cape back there, if you're going to play around with it, the cape falls off quite easily. But for posing, it stays on uh, pretty good. This figure is probably the best of the line for posing as it comes with less gimmicks and has a lot of articulation. And if you want to pose them with Mjolnir, and a lot of my friends open up their figure, so this would be a great um, version to pick up if you want to get a ver movie version of Thor. Um, so we go to the back and you see Chris Hemsworth as Thor there holding Mjolnir and the sword spike, the hidden sword spike or the, I don't know, power sword. It's like He-Man or something if you ask me. They look a lot like the 2000X He-Man accessories. So if you go check out the 2000X line of He-Man, the accessories are very similar. The action that you press the button there and it pops open and a sword, another sword pops out, I mean, it's, it's very similar. Down here to the right, Thor is the master of nearly every weapon in Asgard's arsenal. The dwarves created Thor's power sword to allow him to channel his otherworldly abilities and defeat any foe that dares to cross his path. The unusual blade hums with divine might as Thor charges the internal spike with the power of his lightning. And they are talking about the little gimmick there for the sword. I don't know if that has anything to do with the movie because I haven't seen it yet. It hasn't came out. It comes out here at the beginning of July here, I think, or in the middle, somewhere around there. Um, it, down here it says he is figure number two from the line. It says collect them all. You can see there it has Shield Bash Marvel's Odin. It has Lightning Clash Thor. There are many Thors from the line, as I mentioned. And Secret Strike Loki all from the movie and if I can get a good shot of each of those figures they're very small on the back of the package but you can get a pretty good idea what they look like um, I'd like to obtain a Marvel Zodin too if I get the money um, a Loki and the Frost Giant as well which is not pictured on the back here um, from the movie and especially if it's good I would like to obtain those and I'm hoping that this looks good I'm really anticipating it, it looks great I put the trailer at the beginning for anybody who hasn't seen it and, um, yeah, as always, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, please rate, comment, and, uh, and if you haven't subscribed already, remember to hit the click the subscribe button if you like what you see. And I hope uh, everybody goes and watches Thor, the Mighty Avenger, that comes out in July, 2011, July. So, um, once again, I want to say thanks for watching, and as always, peace. See you next time.